guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i look crazy but i've had a lot of requests for my fuller coverage like night out glam i think i've shown quite a few times like my everyday no foundation kind of like chill makeup look but on a vlog recently i was going out with the girls so i had my full night out glam on and you guys seem to like it, which is very flattering for me because I'm definitely not an MUA. Let's get one thing straight. But I wanted to film it because I have got some new products which I absolutely love and I feel like you guys will love them too. And this is kind of like my go-to for a night out, for when I want a little bit more glam, a little bit more fuller coverage, but it still suits what I like out of makeup. So let's get into it got my tiktok shop makeup bag which i am obsessed with by the way and i've got my iced water this would usually be a wine or a gin but i'm in my healthy girl era and we're going for a meal tonight and i'll probably have a gin or two when we're out for the meal but i mean it's only half four i don't need a wine or a gin right now because we're healthy queens let me zoom you in Is that a little bit better i think so okay so if i'm ever going for a fuller coverage base meaning that i'm actually going to put on a foundation i always like to go in with the walida skin food because it just hydrates your skin so much and there's nothing worse than when your skin is dry and you've got full coverage makeup on it honestly just not a vibe so to really really pack this on so that my skin feels really hydrated to start my makeup i mean you can literally see the glow that that instantly adds to your skin it is such a good primer for under your makeup i then like to go and stick my brows down in place now you all know that i'm a big fan of the refi you can't even see the Refi because it's rubbed off because I've used it so much. The Refi Brow Sculpt. However, recently I have been using this more, which is the Got To Be got to be Glued for Brows and Edges. Just because I had my brows laminated recently. So I don't need to stick them down as like aggressively as I would if they were overdue. Um, so I just literally brush my brows through with this and then that tends to be enough at the minute. However, when I haven't had a brow lamination, I think the Refi is better at keeping them in place. That is my brows brushed in place. I'm then going to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is one of my favourite products ever. I don't know how I lived so long without it because as a girly who doesn't really like a heavy foundation and likes to keep it really glowy and dewy, I honestly don't know why I didn't invest in this product sooner because it is so good so i just put it all on my face with the applicator like that i have shade 4.5 medium i'll leave everything linked in the description with shades if you are wanting to shop any of these items and then i actually just rub this in with my fingers because i just feel like i get a better i get more of an even coverage when i do it like this because i can really like almost like buff it in with my fingers. I've just found it works best for me. I went for a shade a little bit darker than my natural skin colour, just because when I rub it in, it gives me a nice glowy tan. So that's actually really lovely on its own. Like if I'm doing a no makeup look, I'll often just apply the flawless filter, bit of concealer, and it does the job. I just think it adds such a lovely glowy shine to your face however if i'm wanting more of a fuller coverage look which i always do if i'm going for a night out or it's like an evening look my new favorite thing in the world is this if you watch the vlogs you would have seen me talk about this it is so good it's estee lauder hydra rescue moisturizing makeup tint spf 45 so i don't think it's actually considered like a full foundation but it's so good i've got the shade 3w1 and i just literally take it put two pumps on my finger rub that together and apply all over my face and then just using a real techniques brush i just buff that all in It's got a good level of coverage to 
almost like blur imperfections but also not be too full coverage where your skin doesn't look like skin and that is my ideal situation it's more along like my jawline and my cheeks rather than like under my eyes because I go in with concealer and feel like that's enough for the under eye I just love that so much before I was using that I was using the iconic London foundation which again is also a firm favorite of mine in the shade golden medium really nice this is called the super smoother blur and skin tint so I tend to go for tints rather than foundations just because I think then you do get a little bit of a lighter coverage. Also, they are really buildable. So with this foundation, especially if I needed more coverage, I would just keep building it and it would be definitely like fuller coverage. But yeah, love and recommend that one as well. And to concealer, I have another fave and it is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade Light Medium. This is so good. I'm very picky with concealers just because sometimes they go really flaky on me which isn't a vibe um but this one blends so easily it's got great coverage and it's not too light i just think it really suits my skin tone so i do under my eye forehead nose either side of the nose and the lower cheek here because i get quite a lot of redness there and also it's good to add more definition when i do contour and a little bit on my chin then i go in with my beauty blender and blend it out but i need to go and wet this so I'll be right back when i blend it out i always like drag it up my face and i use it to really blend out the rest of my face as well so obviously i used a brush to blend my foundation so i'll just go in and blend all my face now as well so it's got more of like a smooth seamless finish again this concealer is super buildable so if I feel like I need more, I can just keep adding it. And I just take my beauty blender and just make sure that's all blended in. Next up is cream contour and a new fave of mine is the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour in the shade Deep Bronze. This looks dark when you put it on, but it blends really nice. So it's like this, similar applicator to the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I just squeeze some up and then start applying it. So I do two dots on each cheek, two around my forehead, two along my jawline and then a little bit down the side of my nose. And then I use my Refi brush and I use this end to blend it all out. As you can see, it's really easy to blend and it's got a lovely, like, deep natural colour, which I like because sometimes cream contours can look a bit orange, I find, whereas this, obviously it looks dark when you first apply it on your face, but as soon as you start blending it out, it gives you that natural glowy tan look, like, that is such a nice colour. I also find that a little bit goes a long way with this, like, I don't need to add more i don't need to add another cream bronzer on top which i used to always use the refi i still love refi by the way but just when it's full of coverage other products i feel like work better whereas refi is like my go-to for everyday glowy no makeup i feel like that's where they thrive and i do love this bronzer in the shade tan but i used to have to apply this on top of my contour whereas with this tart one which i've been using recently you just don't need to because the coverage is enough and it adds a really nice deep colour without having to add more on top. With nose contour, I'm not the strictest. I've said that before. I don't do like a full contour um, routine. I mean, I wish I could because I'd love to make it look like I'd had some sort of nose job, but no one's got time for that. So we just pinch the brush a little bit and blend it in as best we can. I'll even like go in with my fingers to just like soften it if it looks a bit harsh. But yeah, really love that cream contour. I highly, highly recommend that. I fell in love with a lot of Tarte products and they're becoming staples in my makeup bag, to be honest, as well as the next product, which I'm going to show you, which is a cream blush. I just love cream products. But they're such a great way of keeping it looking a bit natural and glowy. So this is the blush tape 
liquid blush in shade Double Dewy Beauty. It's a lovely pinky tone. Let me show you. Again, same as the Charlotte Tilbury vibe. Look at that. Oh, she's gorgeous. It's kind of like a highlighter mixed with a blusher in one. I use the other end of the Refi brush to just blend this out. And I like tap it into my skin. And I keep my blusher where I used to wear highlights, so like the high points of my cheekbones. I always get asked if I have cheek filler, by the way, and I don't. My mum has amazing cheekbones. My nana had amazing cheekbones. She was a model. She was absolutely beautiful. And I feel like I got their cheekbones. And I really, it's something I actually really like on my face. So no, I do not get cheek filler. I also put any excess on my nose because I feel like it makes you look like you've just been in the sun all day you're a little bit pink on your nose and I think it makes it look really natural and then I go back in with the brush that I blended my contour with and just kind of go over so that that's all nicely blended in so because I do like quite a strong blusher look I then go in with another cream product just to like intensify the color and that is the refi blush in the shade rose it is a really nice pinky colour. This is actually a new one, which I just got. I've got my old one in here. Where is it? Oh, here. That shows how much I love this blush because she is well used. I try myself to a new one. Again, using the same brush, I just tap this on to build more colour and more of that pinky flushed blusher. Oh my God, I love it so much. Them two together is such a good combo because the Refi is a little bit more matte, but the tar is more like glowy and they just sit so lovely on top of each other. Love it. Okay, we're now gonna set all of those cream products. Starting off with the Charlotte Tilbury, what is this called? Airbrush Flawless Finish in shade one. This powder is great. And then I just use one of these little like powder puff things, which I got on Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. And I just dab it in like that and work it under where I put my concealer. This literally airbrushes your under eye. Look at the difference. Shiny, airbrushed. It is so nice, but it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel like cakey or go like wrinkly in your creases. It is just stunning. So I really focus that on my under eyes and I also take it between my brows and in the centre of my forehead just where I usually get quite shiny and then also under my contour to carve it out a little bit more. Like that. I feel like that just really makes it more defined and better definition than any excess. I just dab around like my smile lines and my chin I keep it to the center of my face I then want to set the rest of the cream products on my face so for bronzer I'm using the Hoola caramel which has just been an all-time fave of mine I mean again you can see that mirror is well loved um this is just such a nice color I prefer it to the normal Hoola because it's a bit warmer another fave of mine is MAC deep tan but I'm trying to just like use products that I've got instead of buying new ones when they run out. To set my blusher in place and to add a bit more colour because is there such thing as too much blush? I don't think so. A favourite of mine is this one which is from Beauty Bay. So cheap but so good. The pigmentation in this is amazing. It is the shade Peachy and it's like the perfect pinky peachy colour. It's like in between orange and pink because that's what peaches do on and just go over what I did add in more colour and I kind of just take it all off my face at this point because I love blush so that is the majority of my face products done I do highlight it at the end but at this point I go in and fill my brows in like I said I've had them laminated so they're not too bad it's more just filling in any sparse areas and making them a little bit more structured so I use the Refi brow pencil this is in the shade dark it's a really fine 
know if that's folks in there. It's a really fine um, pencil. Yeah, pencil. So it's really easy to add little hair strokes that literally do look like hair strokes. Brows have been filled in and now we're moving on to eyes. My only palette which I own and the only one that I ever need is this. It's the Too Faced, like the actual branding has rubbed off. You can kind of see it if I hold it in certain lights, but it's the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette. And this is what it looks like inside. It has literally got every colour that you could ever need, especially if you're someone like me who likes to keep it pretty simple. This has everything that you would ever need. I love the pinky colours and that's what I'm going to use today and that's pretty much what I do every time. They're just so nice. So to start off I go in with a fluffy brush with this light pink colour which is called, it's rubbed off, petal? I think it's petal? I think so but this light pink colour and I just put this through my crease. Again not very precise just kind of do whatever. I love how the pink eyeshadow looks with the blusher, hence why I bring it out quite far because I think when it all blends in together it looks lovely. And then go in with the darker pink shade which, god I don't know what that is called, Warm Rose I think, but again it's rubbed off, but the darker pink colour. And I do the same thing but focus it a little bit more in the crease just to intensify it a little bit. And that is honestly as far as I go if I'm keeping it matte. If I want to add a bit of shimmer, I tend to use, again, the two pinky ones and then the lighter ones as well. But when I'm keeping it matte, which is what I had in a recent vlog, which you were all asking for the makeup tutorial for, that is basically just what I do. And it's pretty simple, but I love it. I then go in with more of like a thin pencil brush and go in with the darker pink shade again and just take this under my eye ever so slightly. And I feel like this is what really takes it from day to night because it just makes it look a lot more intense. But keeping with the light pink vibe, like you don't need to go in with a black under your eye or a really dark smoky brown. You still get the same effect, but with the dark pink. I do like to add a little flick with this look but I don't go in with eyeliner. I go in with the darkest brown from this palette which is called Truffle I think and this really thin Real Techniques brush. I like doing the flick with eyeshadow because again I just think it's less harsh than a black liquid eyeliner. It's easy to blend, it's easy to be messy with because you can blend it out and it looks like it's meant to be like that. It's a good place for someone who can't do liquid eyeliner and I certainly can't do it. So I just take the brush and I'm not going to talk through it because I need to concentrate but I basically just apply it to the end and then blend it out. I'll show you. like that and then I literally use the end of the brush to just like pull it up and that like blends out the end. I'll go in with my finger if it looks a bit messy. I just keep it really messy if I'm honest. So can you see now it's got like kind of a smoky wing but it adds a bit of darkness to the outside corner, adds a bit of, bit of something but it's not hard at all and don't get me wrong. It's not the neatest thing in the world, but who's going to be that close to your face? No one. Same again with this eye. And then swiping it up. Going in with my finger if it's too much. And it's as easy as that. Once I've got the flick looking how I want it to, I can then go in and make it darker by just like almost packing it on. But to be fair, that looks all right for today. But if I wanted it to be a bit more intense and a bit darker, I'd just tap it in again 
and just go over really neatly where I've done already. I then like to go in with a black eyeliner pencil. This really, again, makes it go from day to night and makes it a lot sexier and darker and evening glam. So my favourite is the Hourglass Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. It is so good. It lasts so long. You don't have to reapply it through the night. It keeps its colour and it doesn't smudge. So... 10 out of 10. I just put this literally in my waterline. I'm going to do it off camera because it's not a pretty sight, but let me do one eye and then you can see the difference. Here we see how it literally just makes it a lot more nighttime, darker vibe. I mean, you could leave this step out if you don't like the waterline eyeliner look, but I really do for a nighttime glam. Through the day, it just, I wouldn't be able to, but on a nighttime, I think it's quite cute. I've just realised that I forgot something which I do. So I know I haven't done this eye yet, but with the same brush and colour that I used to do my wing, I just go in the centre here. So I just kind of like pack it on. I just think it makes your eye look more like sexy vibes. I don't know. I just like how it looks. You could definitely do this with a liquid i can't talk and do it at the same time see the difference as i was saying you could definitely do that with a liquid eyeliner um but i just like to use the brown eyeshadow i just think that makes it look so much more glam then time to curl my lashes these are from uk lash this changes the game so much curling your lashes sorry this isn't the prettiest sight but it makes mascara go on so much better. For me, who doesn't wear eyelashes, as in like stick on ones, because I simply can't do it, it makes them look so much longer. Do you see that? It's amazing. The mascara I've been loving is the Revolution Lift and Define 5D Lash Waterproof. It's a mouthful. And I just literally put this on my top lashes a little bit on my bottom but I kind of just keep it quite minimal because my bottom eyelashes are quite long and if I do too much they just look crazy. As mascara done on this eye you can tell it just completes the eye look. I keep turning the camera off in between stages because it's overheating. Don't know why because it's freezing outside but it's fine. Moving on to highlight I love the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood champagne glow this is beautiful such a lovely shimmer and i just add this to the high points of my cheekbones i also pull it over my brow and also on my nose and up the center of my nose cupid's bow basically everywhere i possibly can I love how this looks for a powder because I'm often a liquid highlight girly but I like a powder one because I think it's a little bit more long wearing for an evening look and this one doesn't look powdery when you apply it. Finally it's time for lips. I actually lost my favourite lip liner recently. I can't find it anywhere and I'm upset about it and that was MAC Saw. So I'm going to have to repurchase that but another one that I love is the Revolution In Real Life Filter Finish Lip Definer in the shade caramel syrup so i always go in with a pinky lip liner to start with before adding definition with a darker one that's like i do that every time whether it be with different colors but always pink and then brown so i line all my lips with that and then going in with morphe sweet tea which is a really lovely brown color and i essentially go over what I've just done but I focus it more in the center of my lips and then kind of just pull it out but don't go to the full corner blend it in with my finger if I feel like it needs to be a bit buffed out And then if I'm doing gloss, I love the Refi gloss. It's literally just a clear gloss, but it looks lovely because it kind of like mixes in with your lip liners. But if I'm doing a matte lip, which I did on the look recently, 
Then this is my fave. So this is the Revolution in real life whipped lip cream in caramel syrup. Wow. I didn't realise they were a set. That makes sense. This is the exact same as, if you've watched my videos for a while, you'll know that I loved Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Lips in shade Platinum Blonde. It was my absolute go-to. It's all I wore for years, and I mean years. It was the best pinky colour because I don't really suit brown. I suit more of a pinky lip, in my opinion. So loved it so much and it got discontinued and I was devastated. I tried the alternatives that Charlotte Tilbury said was like the closest to it, didn't cut it. I then got this and honestly, it's basically the exact same thing. If anything, I think I prefer the formula of this because it goes on like a suede, matte, creamy finish. Oh, I love it. So this has became my new favourite because the finish of it is just gorgeous and for a matte lip gloss, lip cream, whatever this is, it doesn't go drying and like crusty on your lips. Like it keeps my lips feeling hydrated even though I'm essentially wearing a matte lip. Once I've done that, I then just go back in with sweet tea just to add a bit more definition and then using my finger just to buff it all together. Love that lip combo. Okay, I am really running low on this and last time I sprayed it, it came out aggressively and left little white things on my face. So please don't do that again. But set and spray is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Set and Spray. First of all, the bottle is stunning. Look at that. And it also is a great set and spray. Another absolute holy grail favourite of mine is Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C one as a preference. But I wanted to try this and I really love this as well but they're my two faves I'll leave them both linked right let's hope it comes out nice let's try it ah oh no okay we're all good we're all good then just fan your face and that is the finished makeup guys let me take my roller out get my outfit on and I'll come back to show you the finished look. And that is me ready to go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I had quite a few requests for it, so I wanted to get it filmed for you all. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Everything will be linked down below in the description. Here's another look at the makeup. Love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.